dear students continuing with uh, our lecture series on reduction of organic compounds and uh, in the previous lecture uh, we have discussed about uh, metal hydride reduction and uh, role of uh, lithium aluminum hydride in reduction of organic compounds uh, in this lecture uh, we will uh, discuss about the chemistry of uh, diabol H that is diisobutyl aluminum hydride as a reducing agent for different uh, organic functional group transformation to give us uh, different types of reduced products in organic chemistry and as I have told you in the previous lecture that if an atom of a higher oxidation state is converted into uh, a lower oxidation state then we call that the process as reduction and in terms of reactions if uh, we add hydrogen across a molecule uh, to give us uh, different types of products then those reactions are also called as reduction reactions and uh, the substances uh, which catalyze or which participate in those uh, reactions they are called as reducing agents so reducing agent means that agent will itself be oxidized and it will reduce the reactant into a product that is uh, with the gain of electrons the reactant will be converted into a reduced product and uh, uh, how much uh, effective a reducing agent will be will depend on the reduction potential of uh, that uh, reducing agent so if uh, we are having a high reduction potential that means uh, this type of reaction is favored that means that lithium will give us lithium ion plus electron and that electron will be used up in conversion of a product into a reduced uh, product so these uh, strength of the reducing agent is based on uh, that uh, how much reduction potential is there in conversion of that reduce, uh, reducing agent into its oxidized form and in organic chemistry metal hydride reductions they are uh, probably the most common uh, type of reactions where functional group transformations can take place in the previous lecture uh, we have discussed about lithium aluminum hydride and uh, now we will discuss about the derivatives of lithium aluminum hydride uh, which have been used for different types of organic functional group transformations and uh, one important uh, derivative uh, is diisobutyl aluminum hydride uh, this diisobutyl aluminum hydride uh, which is popularly uh, called as dibel H or simply dibel uh, is basically isobutyl aluminum hydride and uh, this is a very useful derivative of aluminum hydride and is commercially available as a solution in a uh, variety of solvents uh, ranging from uh, benzene to toluene to dichloromethane so different type of solvent solutions of this uh, reducing agents they are available in the market uh, the advantage of uh, dibel H is that it is a selective reducing agent which we will see in the subsequent slides and uh, uh, the selectivity of this reagent is particularly uh, particularly we will find in case of esters and nitriles and we know that esters and nitriles when they are reacted with uh, lithium aluminum hydride they are converted into alcohols and amines respectively but uh, by using dibel H uh, we can reduce uh, these uh, esters and nitriles selectively to aldehydes otherwise we cannot uh, isolate aldehydes from esters and nitriles if we use lithium aluminum hydride and then uh, these reactions they are uh, to be carried out in inert and moisture free 
atmosphere so we are to use the dry solvents uh, for these uh, organic functional group transformations so most important reaction in case of uh, dibel is uh, reduction of esters to aldehydes so as I have told you that uh, Dibel H selectively reduces esters to the corresponding aldehydes and the reaction uh, generally takes place at very low temperature uh, because uh, the mechanism of the reaction is such that uh, in the first instance uh, ester will interact with Dibel H and hydride ion will be shifted to the electrophilic uh, carbon of the uh, carbonyl system and aluminium will get attached to electronegative oxygen and we will get this type of tetrahedral intermediate so this part you can see is a tetrahedral in nature so this type of tetrahedral intermediate is formed and uh, this tetrahedral intermediate is stable only at low temperature so that is why uh, the basic requirement of these reactions is that reaction is to take place at low temperature and when this uh, intermediate tetrahedral intermediate is hydrolyzed then we will get aldehydes as the product and if uh, alkoxy or amino groups they are present in close proximity to these uh, tetrahedral uh, intermediates then better yield of aldehydes is obtained the uh, results obtained from the reactions they are better so now few of the examples where uh, ester functional group is converted into aldehydic functional group so when uh, this ester uh, is reacted with dibel H in dichloromethane or toluene as solvent at very low temperature of the order of minus 78 degree centigrade then we will get 85 percent of the product where uh, this ester functional group is converted into aldehydic functional group through uh, the tetrahedral intermediate which will be formed on reaction with dibel H and we can see the reaction is more selective because the ether linkage present over here alkyl ether or aryl, aryl alkyl ether linkage is not affected by dibel H as the reducing similarly uh, the selectivity of this reaction is further explained if you see this molecule here we are having halogen atom also and if uh, we see in case of uh, lithium aluminium hydride the hydrogenolysis of this carbon uh, halogen bond takes place and halogen is replaced by hydrogen but uh, when we use dibel H in, in presence of pyridinium para toluene sulfonate and isopropyl alcohol then uh, this uh, functional group is not affected so selectively only carbonyl functional group uh, is uh, reduced to this ether functional group in presence of isopropyl alcohol basically what happens is that this keto uh, when dibel will get attached to this oxygen and hydride will be shifted to this place and after that hydrolysis a, in place of water we are having uh, isopropyl alcohol so the isopropyl alcohol will get attached to this position and we will get these types of esters as the uh, uh, this type of ethers as the product and Halo carbon halogen uh, group is not affected in these reactions similarly in some cases uh, for example in this type of lactone uh, when dibel H uh, is reacted uh, in presence of toluene as solvent then lactoles they are formed instead of aldehydes so reduction of this carbonyl group will take place and hydrogen uh, will add across this uh, carbon oxygen double bond to lactoles they are formed as the product then uh, uh, some examples of uh, reduction uh, selective reduction of nitriles to aldehydes 
here it is uh, written wrongly it is not ester but nitriles so at similarly uh, in line with what we have seen in case of esters at low temperatures if we use one equivalent of dibel h then nitro group will be converted into a uh, aldehydic group so nitriles they are converted into aldehydes and here also dibel h is a selective uh, reducing agent because this is not going to affect the carbon carbon double bond over here and the stereochemistry uh, of the reactant is also maintained in the product so that is why uh, this uh, diisobutyl aluminum hydride uh, as a reducing agent is very selective in conversion of nitriles to aldehydes with maintenance of the uh, geometry uh, maintenance of the stereochemistry of the reactant molecules similarly in this example also the nitrile is converted into aldehyde group and uh, this ether uh, dioxo ether moiety is not affected and the dibel h is a selective reducing agent only for nitriles they are converted into uh, aldehydes and uh, similarly if uh, we will use uh, two equivalents uh, instead of one equivalent then the product formed will uh, will be corresponding amines not the aldehydes so uh, they are on similar lines if, when we use two equivalents uh, the products formed they are on similar line as we get in case of uh, lithium aluminium hydride Uh, if uh, we are having uh, alpha beta unsaturated uh, carbonyl compounds uh, like uh, this example alpha beta unsaturated uh, ester is used then uh, selective uh, one to reduction take place that is reduction uh, will take place only at uh, the carbonyl of the ester group this carbon carbon double bond will not be affected so with dibel h we will get a selective uh, product as uh, if we compare uh, with uh, lithium aluminium hydride then reduction of carbon carbon double bond will also take place and we will get saturated alcohols but here we will get allylic alcohols as the product so dibel h is selective in in, in its reaction with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds and uh, the carbon carbon double bond is not affected uh, by this dibel h similarly uh, the application of reduction has been uh, seen with dibel h in case of alkynes also and uh, here uh, the reaction is very interesting that alkynes they are converted into alkenes and addition of dibel h to the carbon carbon double bond is a syn addition that is hydride and aluminium both add from the same side of the molecule and uh, that means if uh, dibel h uh, adds to this carbon carbon triple bond we will get alkenes as the product and these alkenes will be formed after hydrolysis of this intermediate which is uh, formed during the reaction and the alkene formed after hydrolysis will be a cis alkene so for example if we uh, start with one hexane then on reaction with diisobutyl aluminium hydride uh, we will get isomerically uh, pure uh, e1 ido1 hexane when this intermediate is hydrolyzed with uh, iodine uh, in presence of THS, uh, THF as the solvent. So uh, when this part will be hydrolyzed, uh, iodide will get attached to this place and we will get E1 ido1 hexene as the product. And uh, uh, this is uh, highly selective reaction as far as uh, addition uh, of uh, dibel to uh, alkynes is concerned. 
so these are uh, the various uh, journals and books which have been referred for preparing this lecture thank you very much